Hey guys, so this is a, a bit of an experiment. Some people have been talking about Deep Forest Hermit in particular. Uh, Alicia talks about this card all the time. It's a five drop, uh, like Thrag Tusk, I guess. It also costs double green, whereas Thrag Tusk only costs single green. It has Vanishing three. From the beginning of our upkeep, we remove a time counter. So we go three, three turns with this on the battlefield. It goes away. But it makes four 1-1 one, one squirrels, and it buffs the squirrels plus one, plus one. So it makes four 2-2s two when it enters, and then, you know, we get three turns to blink it, basically. And you can keep blinking it and blinking it and making tons and tons of 2-2s, two hopefully. Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan. Currently, I've got two in the list. Uh, the sideboard is kind of whatever, just a bunch of random good cards. Uh, I did adjust my Bant list to trim the Okos back uh, like I did in 4-color because I think Teferi becomes even a little bit more important in this kind of a list where we're um, trying to protect the Squirrel Lord. Squirrel Lord. Uh, <laughs> because the Squirrels as 1-1s are not nearly as menacing as Squirrels as 2-2s. Two uh, otherwise, pretty straightforward Bant list. I trimmed the Mull Drifter. I trimmed a Prince to make room for two uh, Hermits. Venser is too versatile, I think, to cut him, so just performs uh, such an important role. Uh, the full four Force of Negations, this is the Bant list. Three paths, one, uh, one main deck wins. Uh, I kind of want another... <laughs> hey, hey, DV Neil. Uh, happy, happy Christmas Eve. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining me on my, my silly stream on Christmas Eve. Uh, so maybe for testing purposes, I think I'm just going to jump into a queue, but maybe for testing purposes, I should find a way to just squeeze in a third, a third of, uh, one of these guys. So, uh, what would I trim maybe, um, to, to squeeze in a, a third deep forest hermit? Uh, I don't know, I could trim one to fairy. I could trim one force, I guess. I don't know. Let's 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 risk it and trim uh, trim a force. It's it's silly, but I just I want to draw I want to draw deep forest hermits. So let's go ahead and jump into a league, not a league, uh, a queue for now. All right, let's see. Two player queue. We've got an opponent waiting. Side out wins. Squirrel Lord for the win. You're going deep on the squirrels. Well, that's, that's the plan. There it is in the opening hand. Unfortunately, we only have one land, so I will have to mulligan. Sad face. Uh, can you guys see up on the top? It should say um, the toast 77. I think that's um, currently keeping track of the most recent follower since... I don't, I only have one subscriber right now. For some reason, uh, it won't let me show my most recent subscriber. Um, opponent is keeping, and we have to mulligan, as I said. Unfortunate. Mm, yeah, this is, this is poor, but keepable. I'm gonna go get, uh, I have to get my head into Bant. Don't need any black mana. I'm going to go get, uh, I guess, green. I can get blue with this. If I get green, white with this. And then um, blue, green, white. Should be able to just ship this hallowed fountain. Maybe jund, maybe burn. Okay, it's Zoo. Um, well, I was going to actually fetch for that Temple Garden right now, uh, so <laughs> I guess I just play it. Well, thanks for confirming Trogdor. It's nice that the thing is showing up on the top. Uh, since it's a pretty new stream, those things up at the top don't really have much to show right now. Like the crown, I think, is supposed to be like all-time 
uh, highest contributor or something and the dollar thing is like the current highest I don't know it's like <laughs> I have to actually sort of set them all and I might change these icons up at the top but uh, for the time being the only thing I can show is like most recent follower opponent looks like they're on one land otherwise they'd probably play it to make this uh, Nakatl bigger Okay, well, you know, we're slowly getting somewhere. Probably going to cast this path, I guess, even though it's going to ramp them. Uh, so I can probably just play the basic planes, get my basics started. Uh, I don't even, honestly, I don't know how many, um, I, need to, I, I don't know how many basics I have in the deck. Like 3, 2, and 2, I guess? Yeah, 3, 2, and 2. All right, so yeah, we'll do it like this. I don't think I'm going to be blocking. Would much rather have Death Touch online first. We're getting pretty close to Squirrel Lord mana already. So I'm going to go with uh, the, uh, the Quaddle first. Maybe we'll draw an Ephemerate, can block an Ephemerate instead of pathing, keep the opponent on one land. All right, another basic. We can Venser next turn. That's kind of fun. I kind of, I mean, opponent could be slow rolling their land here. I doubt it. I could use Venser to bounce their one land. And take four here. Try to establish Death Touch. Um, could also block path my own. Yeah, but I don't. I don't have enough in hand to start doing things like that. So, uh, I guess. Let's see, I'm going to take three on my lands next turn. I don't have uh, Astrolabe in this build, so that's not going to help me. And I'm going to be pretty far from Death Touch for a while because I have to go fetch a. Sh oh no, I can get a. I can get a basic island. So I'm only going to take one next turn. I think I can afford. If opponent's bluffing, uh, well done. But it looks like they're on one land, and I'd rather not give them a land yet. Uh, vexing devil. Okay, well, hand is developing. I think I'm just going to pass, sort of see what they do. Could bounce their land before they have a chance to play a second land. But in this spot, I think I'm just going to bounce one of their creatures to slow them down, and then maybe they'll use their one mana to re replay it. And then I can start pathing things the next turn. Yeah, I like that line. If we bounce the land, then we can eat the Nakatl, right? Don't really want to get within bolt range, so... But if we bounce the land now, they get to replay it. Okay, Soul Herder is a pretty nice one. Ah, all right, so I need to get Venser down because it's going to combo with Soul Herder next turn, and I can also have Double Path up. Um, so basically, we just have to not die here. I could bounce the Stomping Ground and then try to eat uh, the Nakatl. The opponent gets the replay of the land. If they shock themselves, maybe they bolt me. I can't just take. Um, this four here. Oh, also the Kurt Ape gets smaller, right? So I could just trade, even though I don't have, um, yeah, this seems decent.
Come to land, eat the cattle, trade with the curd ape. I don't like giving the opponent access to more mana right now, but it does slow them down. Not nearly as much life gain in this deck as in the, uh, the four color version. Yeah, so opponent might just have two bolts. Uh, all right. Uh, hey, corn on Jacob. Yeah, I think that you saw me on. Um, we I was talking with um, Nasif on his stream about my uh, my four color build of this deck. Just I'm uh, testing with uh, Deep Forest Hermit right now. So we're gonna go to the end step and I guess just bounce the land. Right, it's sort of the only reasonable thing to do. But I, I really feel like the opponent just has another bolt, and you know I, I actually trimmed a force. We're only on uh, three forces right now, with none in uh, none in hand, with no blue cards to pitch. So play the stomping grounds, play a bolt, GG, go to game two, play some uh, some deep forest hermits probably, get some squirrels going on. Uh, oh, so my record right now is just. Um, O oh and O. Oh. I just, just started the stream a second ago. Coiling Oracle on the bottom. Uh, we are going to path this thing now. I mean, Coiling Oracle is on the top of my deck. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, well, no second bolt for the time being. Uh, like a Charming Prince would be nice, but we have Coiling Oracle, so I need to start with that. Let me get like an Ephemerate, I guess. Oh, well, Oko is um, something. It's not going to give me life gain right away. They're at 12. Swing for 5. Oh, I have to fade a turn now, basically. If I make Soul Order, it becomes a 5. It's still just swinging for 7. Kind of like Soul Herder as a blocker, even though, I mean, they, they probably just have... They don't have too many haste creatures. I mean, they might have... They have Goblin Guide... I don't really want to have to chump, so it's just one point of damage difference. Now the question is, do I bounce a land or do I bounce Coiling Oracle? And I, th I, think, I, I think I want to bounce the land. And I haven't played with Venser in a while. It's pretty fun. Um, so Goyf, maybe, hopefully. And then we path him and win.
opponent's sort of tanking here, so probably not a lightning bolt. Ah, uh, get out of here, opponent. Some garbage right there. <laughs> oh well. One mana short of being able to live. What could I have done differently there? Uh, I played the Oracle. And then uh, I played Oko. I wouldn't have the food without Oko. <sighs> Make sure I'm not missing anything. And that's GG. I mean, it's possible. It's possible that pathing the guide might have been a mistake. Could have, could have done that differently. I kept them short on lands for the whole game. Definitely. So they do have a bunch of damage that goes to the face, so it seems like Worship probably not the best in the matchup since it only prevents... Oh, no, no, no. This is... No. This is definitely good. Stonehorn is what I meant to say. Because Stonehorn doesn't uh, do anything about Burn to the Face. Uh, Purge seems okay. They've got a bunch of red creatures. Winds of Abandon seems okay. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, the, the Hermit seems pretty good. I'm not going to sideboard it out because that's what I'm trying to test right now. Uh, all right, what am I doing? Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, let's see. What do I want to trim to bring in these three cards? They don't have any huge spells that we really, really need to counter, just a bunch of Lightning Bolt type stuff that they could choose to play on my turn. So I'll trim at least one Force. Charming Prince would have been good to gain me life there, uh, or to just get an extra bounce out of Venser. Maybe trim two Forces. Hmm. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What should I trim? Maybe one of these soul herders? I don't know. <clears throat> I might only be able to play this one round for now, guys. Um, I might have to go, I think, to a friend's house for, for dinner and keep this. It doesn't have any squirrels yet, this hand, but I feel like it's a good hand to sort of prepare for squirrels later. Okay, I'm going to go get probably blue-white off of this. Uh, for those of you guys who tuned in a little bit later, I was um, pointing out that up at the top of the, the screen now, I've got uh, something that shows the most current follower. Um, the other ones are for like subscribers and money and stuff like that, but I haven't really started uh, getting money yet and many subscribers. So as that happens, uh, hopefully the, the top of the screen will become more populated with, with names and should have some emotes soon. Looking forward to that. Opponent sequencing a little bit weird. I guess they really wanted to play the Stomping Grounds first, but maybe they would have found a better land off of this. Probably looking for creatures with this. Come back to Earth. Um... How long have I been streaming in general? I just started doing this like a, maybe a month and a half ago. Actually, you need to, in order to have subscribers at all, you need to reach what's called the affiliate level. And there's like four or five criteria for that. You need to have like 500 minutes in the last 30 days streaming. You need to 
have an average of three people following you at any time, like watch act, actually watching you, um, and on and on. There's a bunch of requirements, and I pretty much met them in my first 30 days. And once you meet them, you're good forever pretty much as long as you don't start doing ridiculous stuff on your stream. So I am an affiliate on Twitch now, so I, I can have subscribers. Actually, a little bit out of it with this build. I'm not quite sure how many copies of each fetch land I have. One hallowed fountain, one breeding pool, two temple gardens. A bunch of copies of each of the uh, basics. Some prismatic vistas. Alright, opponent used that wooded foothills that they got off of Once Upon a Time. Hidden herbalists, plural. Uh, okay, so they're adding two more mana here. That's pretty terrible for us. Pretty good for the opponent. I guess I could go like Teferi, bounce this Pelt Collector next turn. Hopefully they don't play it. Ah, okay, so they're just playing a Once Upon a Time. That's decent, but not super threatening right now. Alternatively, I could just play Ice Fang and Ephemerate, which also seems pretty good. Okay, land, land wasn't terrible there. So we've got plenty of choices here. The opponent has this Bushwhacker, uh, so if they have another land, they can play a one drop and then play Bushwhacker and have like a huge army. Very easily kill to ferry right away. It does distract a little bit of damage, but I feel like the better play is just to um, develop my board and um, start ephemerating. Then we can get Witness going in a little bit. Get basic planes uh, with this. I believe I have two basic planes in the deck. Uh, if they do go bushwhacker, I'll probably block and kill, uh, trade with the bushwhacker, and then sort of ghost block with the kawadal and take, I don't know, some, num some, some number of damage. If I bounce the Pelt Collector, it just gives him a one drop to play in, with with the Bushwhacker. So Teferi doesn't seem like the best play here. All right, so they do have three mana. They do have a one drop. We are going to just take the four damage from that because we know they have the Bushwhacker. Oh, that was the double trigger off the Vexing Devil. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that in a while. That's a, that's an awesome synergy. I remember when people were first talking about that. Oh, this thing has Trample now because it's... Okay, three or more. Yeah, we have to bounce that thing pretty soon. That's unfortunate. So now we're just going to take the five from the Pelt Collector. Sorry if you guys have some noise uh, in the background. Um, my wife is cooking. Happens sometimes. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is how these games go. We usually just have to uh, do our best to stabilize. Trample is really annoying here.
possible I should blink the Coiling Oracle um, and switch the blocks around to try to ramp. Like if this is a land, oh, it's a Hierarch. It's pretty bad anyway. All right, so we're going to trade and then take five. Life total is getting pretty low. They've almost certainly got some burn in hand. Come on, worship. Uh, okay, second to ferry and an extra land. So we can go Eternal Witness, getting back, Ephemerate, and then keep sort of ghost blocking. It seems like a reasonable plan. Alternatively, uh, I just mentioned that this guy has Trample, so that's problematic. Uh, so maybe I need to go Hierarch to Ferry and then potentially um, and just bounce the Pelt Collector. That seems okay. Okay, Ice Fang uh, has Death Touch now. Drawing more lands isn't what I wanted there, but uh, we have cards in our hand, just not enough time. Not enough time to cast things. The opponent goes double bolt here. Now we, we can't base anything on this testing um, on just this one sort of hyper aggro matchup. Like, I'm not going to say, like, oh, well, obviously we needed to play the fourth force in the deck, or, and now this is a bushwhacker. It's pretty ridiculous. Goblin guy. Okay, well, it's still pretty ridiculous. What is the opponent going after here? Oh, my goodness. Is this a, a path or, like, a lone lion? Ugh. I think, yeah, we're just about not dead yet. <laughs> we're pretty close. So we got to think carefully here. I've got another Teferi. If they go after the first Teferi, um, I'm going to want to play at least two creatures next turn, maybe ideally three. So we could go one, two, three, four, five, six. We have to chump here. Um, so we're going to have six mana, at, at least these two. Uh, so one, two, three green I need. So let's get the next green source, I guess. I'm not going to be able to... I guess I can crack a fetch and get a basic next turn. I'll show you guys the deck list in a minute, uh, says Ben. So, I don't know. Let's see what the opponent does. Aggro deck probably going to go after my head here. Um, yeah. Okay, get some lands off the top of the deck. Or just reveal something amazing. Oh, well, Path to Exile is something. If we can just get into a top decking situation, I don't feel terrible about that. So maybe I can path, uh, witness, path, but then they still have two creatures to attack with. So basically they're all lethal here, uh, which is pretty rough. So I need to get two of my own creatures and get rid of two of their creatures. So like Hierarch. Yeah, Herm Herm Hermit off the top definitely would stabilize. That's a good call. A point in favor of... So if I go Path, Witness, Path, Hierarch, maybe I can do that. Path. Witness, Path, and then Hierarch, but I only have this green source. Oh wait, maybe it's enough. I can just get white. I think I have a second... A second um, Plains. So I can go Path, Witness with white, play Hierarch, Path with another white. Oh, 
Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I can't wait on the first path. Uh, and then we're going to put a stop on their draw. We're going to play Noble Hierarch. When it's going to continue just laying in. All right, got two, uh, two lands off the top. I can't use them just yet. Uh, Well, that's something. So I have to bounce this Vexing Devil and then block Ephemerate. Seems decent-ish. No, no. I only have I only have one blue. <laughs> that means I have to play the quaddle now and draw into another creature, I guess. Oh, I could draw a basic island off of a Teferi bounce. That's that's pretty narrow. Um I'm going to play Quaddle anyway though. So you know, surprises aren't that important right now, I don't think. Creature, I guess. That was a decent one. Don't really see a need to do this right now. Okay, land, just revealing what they're working with. I get an extra bounce out of this Teferi, that's pretty nice. Ooh. Should probably get a witness back from the graveyard. That was a little sloppy. Okay. Um, so now I do want to get like a, just a creature back from the graveyard. So I can go ahead and do this once now, I guess. Only one blue source still. Uh, but I can use that, uh, let's see, getting another, another Hierarch. Let's get Oracle for now. Jeez. All 
Uh, I have to win really, really fast. This is game two, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why I've let my clock hit so crazy low. They have a Tarkus command here. Just put me out of my misery. I can um, ephemerate for um, force, which we haven't drawn any of this entire, uh, this entire match. Uh, all right, well, it was interesting. I did my best, guys. Um, I see there's a whole nine of you watching right now. That's fun. Unfortunately, the opponent got me. I, I magically managed to stay alive for like another four turns or something past when I thought I was going to die. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see any squirrels. That was the whole point of, of testing this, uh, this list. But uh, it's Christmas Eve. I don't, I don't have a ton of time today. I'm going to actually sign off in, in a minute or two. Uh, but I'll, I guess the next stream, I'll probably just keep testing the same thing. I need to uh, sort of resettle into the monobase of Bant. I had to I had to think a couple times just then about like you know what lands I I had available to fetch, but it felt pretty fun. Uh, it would Teferi have been better as um, as Oko? I guess it would have gained me some life, which probably would have helped. Probably would have helped there. But in general, I felt pretty good about this Oko and Teferi split so far. So I'll keep working with it, and if it seems weak, then I can always go three Okos, one Teferi. Uh, flicker coiling, giving extra land, extra flicker. Trying to read uh, Trash and Tin's comment and understand what the goal is there. Flicker coil, coiling oracle, giving extra land, extra flicker. Um, yeah, I had no forces, no hermits, so um, you know it happened. It happens sometimes. So anyhow, um, thanks a lot for joining me, guys. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas, uh, have a great couple of days. Uh, hopefully, you can relax a little bit and uh, I don't know, get get some good presents. And I'll see you probably, I guess, on Thursday. I'm gonna have some time off, so I'll probably tune back in and try to try to jam some games with this list when I don't have uh, the distractions of family and you know celebrations and things. Uh, so I'll see you.